What is the ultimate potential of cold fusion technology? It has been estimated that 250 miles of coal cars could be replaced with as little as one pickup truck full of heavy water. The daily waste from a 1,000 megawatt cold fusion plant would be approximately 150 grams of helium, which is harmless compared to some 30,000 tons of carbon dioxide, sulfur dioxide, and other wastes produced by a comparable fossil fuel plant. What I like about coal fusion is it is different from thermal power, hydroelectric power, or nuclear fission power because it is potentially small. And the investments required are much smaller and hopefully it can be mass produced by industry and this completely changes the whole concept of power generation cons distribution consumption i think the electric power grid will will absolutely wither away i think automobiles trucks trains planes all forms of transportation will use this new powerful energy source the writing is on the wall the fossil fuel age is about to end. Every day, the burning of fossil fuels contributes to the destruction of our environment. While the breakthrough discovery of a totally clean, virtually unlimited energy source languishes in obscurity. It's history in the making, what we're living here. I mean, I, can't, I couldn't dream of a situation like that. Despite a decade of experimentation and a body of indisputable evidence, the gatekeepers of official science continue to deprive us of a technology we so desperately need to be proper stewards of our world. Without some morals or something to believe in on this planet, be it God or science or whatever you truly believe in, what do you have? What do you have? What do you have? What reason do you have to survive? What reason do you have to go on? We did nothing wrong. We made no mistakes in our observations. We made no mistakes. In a world where corruption, greed, and political maneuvering often win out over the virtues of the human spirit, we believed, perhaps naively, that an exception might exist in the experimental sciences. The history of science is littered with individual incidents of fraud, patent stealing, and flagrant misrepresentation. But here we found a contemporary conspiracy that overshadows most of what we've discovered in the Phenomenon Archives.